So you have a problem. There is a task you have to do many times and it is becoming a little bit tedious to handle. The best way to save time is to create a program that will make that process easier, somewhat automating it in a way. My problem? I like living on the edge, so I always use the Galad Nightly builds. There is an amazing website where you can download the latest version and since the Galad community moves very very fast, every day you have a new build that is more stable, hopefully, than the day before. So, if downloading the file is simple, what is your problem, you might ask? Well, the site gives me a zip file that I have to extract and execute, but they have the same name. This creates a lot of confusing files in my download folder, and it's very tedious to do it manually every time. I also forget to update this, so when I encounter a potential Godot bug, I need to download the latest version, reproduce it, and see if it's also happening on the latest. So if I confirm it, I can create an issue. And, you know, I generally avoid opening my browser if I want to be productive because, you know. Hello. So let's build a program that makes our life easier and get us the latest most broken version of Godot in just a few clicks. So let's create the layout of how the app will look like. We will add the logic later when we decide the final designs. So let's move the, the buttons around and see how the elements are better displayed on the screen. Okay, the next step would be, now that we have the layout, let's go ahead and get the logic for the program. In this case, what I want is to check the current date, to know that we are up to date or not, uh, see the version of the operative system that we are running, and then selecting the proper link from the download page, and then downloading displaying that information on the screen on the loading bar below and if i have the latest version just that button to open that executable and okay yeah this should be it it's not so bad it's only 130 lines Next, we're gonna make an executable with our program so we can distribute it and upload everything to github Since I'm working in Windows, I'm only providing the Windows build and I need to code the logic for the other operative systems. I should be able to do that in the future. Okay, now we have a program that will save us a lot of time, keep our files clean, provide us with the latest version of Godot, and it might potentially help other people that are in the same situation. Now we sit back, relax, and enjoy the GitHub fame. Was it worth it? Maybe this was not the best idea to save time, but by making small programs like this one, you'll learn how to tackle bigger projects. Making these kind of programs will often teach you a lot of stuff that you will reuse in the future. It's great for getting practice and for improving your coding skills. Thanks for watching. This was a practical guide on the process from start to finish to make a program. You can follow these steps to create many small apps like the one I created. And if you are new in building apps with Godot, you can check out my other videos here. I would also like to thank my Patreons. It's thanks to you that I'm able to make this video, so if you want to help me, you have a link to my Patreon in the description. I would like to thank David and Andrew. I really, really appreciate it. I'm really excited and very lucky to have your support. I won't keep you here for any longer. Go out and make something. <laughs>